Hi, and welcome to RedTrack. Uh, today we'll be talking about setting up RedTrack and TweetBank integration and going a more complex, I would say advanced way that is mostly useful for the vendors that can receive additional uh, purchase data through instantification service or affiliates who want to get more conversion events uh, that go beyond initiate checkout and purchase. So, uh, I'm doing this for the first time together with you. We'll try to follow our uh, knowledge-based guide. So, uh, it's raw videos, might run some interesting situations. Let's start. In uh, the initial checkbank setup video, a simple way that will be in the link below, uh, we did a couple of things. First, we added ClickBank as an offer source. And of course, we have custom tracking domain uh, done. We have uh, two conversion types in checkout and purchase, but not all the additional ones. And we also have added to ClickBank offer. Yeah, that's it. With uh, basically a hop link with tracking parameters. Now, uh, we went to ClickBank. We uh, set up our pixel. Now we try to add in certification services. So what I went is I went into instantification services and uh, now I'm what I'm doing is I'm requesting access. So secret key. It should be a secret key. Just don't repeat the same. I do uh, do something myself. Let's see if they will allow me to do it. Secret key. Uh, now, first of all, you need to request access. I mean, probably you don't, well, at least I don't understand uh, half of these things. Well, I may explain, but uh, we have a solution for you, so uh, just click yes. And then save changes and request API access. Okay, secret key is all caps. Good. Secret key, RT. And let's again do this whole process. Yes, 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 and yes. In terms of use, I mean, yes, I found this this time, good. So it's hidden there, nice. Uh, probably will, this attempt will be successful. And save change and request API access. Now we have, I hope we have this part working. So let's proceed to edit. Okay, now uh, what we need to do is we need to add uh, the special link from uh, the ClickBank setup that we have seen before. So we go back to Red Track, we go to Offer Sources, to ClickBank, and we copy this one. We added additional parameters in here in the previous session, so we will remove them for the purpose of instant uh, notification setup. Let's go back to where we were in here and remove these uh, keys up to event ID. That's how it should be. Now uh, we'll copy secret key, save changes here. I have not tested this because first what I want to do, if I remember correctly, our own setup process, we'll go back to Red Track, close, go to the tools integrations, and go into here and click bank event matching. Okay, it's our. Uh, so I better leave the same secret key, which may not be broken, so I will save it later. So, secret key, RT, and 
then when you finish the setup you have to uh, match QuickBank events to RetroQ events. Now we have only two. We match it to the Okay, nice. We don't match it. Let's save it first. So it's saved successfully. Oh, no, it's not saved successfully. Now it's saved. Um, and let's go back to QuickBank. Let's go to edit and click test. It works. Now you save changes and make sure uh, that you remove these pixels versus uh, the instantification service because otherwise uh, uh, Clickbank will send purchase, upsell, and initiate checkout several times, creating uh, additional commercial events in RedTrack and messing your data. Now, again, why go through all those troubles setting up these advanced tools in certification URL? If you are a vendor, you can start capturing additional data points. For that, you go to the go to offer sources and at minimum you want to capture email and uh, phone and uh, zip that I used uh, for Facebook Notion API and some additional APIs that we are adding. So when you do that you can again have anything in here, use some human readable descriptions and assign roles. For email should be email, for phone should be phone, for zip should be zip. And of course you can also add uh, first name, last name, but email, phone number and zip are essential for better uh, clickbook, clickbook, Facebook attribution when you send those conversion back with a conversion API. Sadly for affiliates, you can set this up, but ClickBank will not send you the data if your account is an affiliate account. Uh, nothing we can do about this. Uh, if you want to pick more into the parameters, you can just go to uh, this article on ClickBank site and see all the details they share. If you want us to capture additional parameters, talk to our team, we can use them. But technically, we just care about email first name, last name, and okay, uh, and phone number. Now, uh, that's it. Uh, the complex setup through instantification done. And last part that you want to do is go to red track, save here. I won't do it right now. And then set up all the additional conversion tracking events. Okay, initiate checkout, purchase, and then, uh, for example, uh, what do we have? Refund, maybe some other events, the ClickBank captures, and save. When you save those events, you go to Tools. We are here, Integrations. Offer sources, click bank, and you start making a uh, upsell. Okay, uh, still that event is not saved, so we need to give it some time. But essentially, whenever you add all those custom uh, tracking events, they will appear here. Thank you. This slide from Red Track, and we talked about how to connect complex. Uh, uh, ClickBank setup through instant notification service that is most useful for vendors as allows them to get additional data 
uh, about the purchase uh, that will improve the Facebook attribution uh, metric. Thank you. This is right from RedTrack.